So I'm pretty much done with the uh, rendering of this car. If I zoom in, you can see that um, I've removed a lot of the, um, the sketchy line work from the original sketch from uh, behind all the rendered layers. If I turn off those uh, wheels, you might be able to see um, how I have just selected the background colour, then airbrushed out any lines that are showing outside of the car. So it uh, just cleans it up a little bit. Um, yeah, there's, there's some things that... Uh, uh, you know, I'm not uh, that thrilled about with the design that um, I uh, could spend more time, go back and change um, such thing as the uh, the tail lights. They're, they're okay, but they're not that great. But the good thing is with Photoshop, um, I can uh, turn that layer off. Um, and the scoop, I can turn that layer off and, uh, yeah, come up with a, an entire new design and uh, drop it in place. You know, other things I might uh, want to experiment with uh, different wheels as well. The good thing with Photoshop is uh, turn, the, turn the wheel layer off and uh, drop in some new wheels and see how they look. But uh, just to finish off, I might um, just uh, work the background a little bit further. So what I do is um, often uh, just get that background layer I might, uh, whoops, wrong one, I'll turn the, um, the, uh, the colour of the background down just a little bit further, make it a little bit darker, just uh, down into there, and often what I do just to get a little bit of tone going uh, is to get um, this uh, burn tool, get a really big brush, um, and just uh, darken off across the top a little bit there just to uh, add a little bit of uh, depth and tone um, and the other one that you can use is the uh, the dodge tool which makes things a little bit lighter go for a slightly smaller brush and just put a light section through there as well and that just uh, just builds a little bit of life into uh, the background and uh, helps to bring out the car a little bit can even go for a smaller one and just right through where the road surface there where it'll be horizontal just add a little bit of life there um, yeah perhaps I've made the uh, the background just a fraction too dark but uh, we'll leave it there for the moment so I guess it's the thing about personal taste and the uh, other old favorite is to put a reflection of the the car in the background so let's just do that really quickly and what I'll do is um, select all the layers so I'll click on the very bottom layer click on the very top layer holding the shift key down and you can see all those layers are now um, selected go to uh, layer and then uh, merge uh, layers there we go and they all merge down into one layer so I can turn that uh, car on and off then I uh, select the entire car go control C for copy uh, control D to deselect and then what I want to do is go back up the um, the history tree here to above merge layers so that I get all my layers back again and um, down here I'll go uh, just control V to paste in what I just copied just above the uh, very background layer you can see uh, there's the there's the car now just as one 